from 10 to 60 we've lived here. It's been more than two years. We had to replace all the locks on the doors. But it still hurts. He did a real fruit basket upset on my wife and I here. A group of burglars stole Keith Heldreth's trailer right out of his Chehalis front yard. It was full of more than $100,000 worth of tools and collectibles. Some of the stuff that they stole, they actually told the prosecutor that they took it to the scrap yard. But those were things that I had had when, when I was 10 years old that my father had given to me. Of course, they'll never be replaced. They're melted down someplace now. One of the burglars was Shane Pochelle, who's getting out three months early to create social distance space within state prisons. It seems ironic. I feel like we're prisoners in our own house, and yet the prisoners are going free. How messed up is that? So you have this certain amount of, of closure and now we're just kind of ripping the Band-Aid off. Lewis County Prosecutor Jonathan Meyer says 40 offenders convicted by his office are getting breaks on their sentences. Drug dealers, repeat drunk drivers, and thieves, like the former bookkeeper at Winlock Fiber, Jennifer Derrick, who wrote herself more than $400,000 worth of company checks. The prosecutor has reached out to all of the victims to warn them. I have talked to some victims who obviously are upset, and I think justifiably so, especially since they didn't have any input into it. I think the biggest thing that my wife and I lost in that burglary was, was, was we lost our sense of security. For Keith Heldreth, who still owed more than $20,000 from his burglar, it's a gut punch. To have the people that, are, uh, that have done it be caught and, and sent off to prison just to be kicked back out into the same community that they came from, yeah, that's kind of messed up in my mind. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.